This video is about the history of artificial intelligence. And this is a lecture number two in the series. The term artificial intelligence was first coined by John McCarthy in 1956, but much before that, a lot of work was already being done in the field of artificial intelligence. And five years later, Turing set a benchmark for the qualification of expert system. This was known as a Turing test. So what Turing did was for any system to qualify as an expert system, he set a benchmark test known as Turing test, which even in today's future is considered as a benchmark to for the perfect expert system. Development of computers made the idea of intelligent computers more possible. First general purpose computer was designed not designed very early but not until 1991 at the Science Museum of London. This was designed by Babbage in 1792 to 1871. Some early applications of Artificial intelligent programs were Samuel in 1952 built a checkers program, which was essentially a game which simulated on artificial intelligence. Neville and Simon in 1956 built a program Logic Theorist. Some of the key challenges which were faced during the early phase of artificial intelligence was how to represent knowledge to solve the problem. So the knowledge in currently is represented in a system known as knowledge base. So success in building natural language processing tools was also not achieved until 1960 and much work was done till 1970. This allowed much better communication with the artificial intelligence system. And during 1960 to 1970, a lot of work happened in the field of expert system. These systems work to mimic the complete knowledge and work of an expert in any field. So expert systems work in any domain like a medical expert system can diagnose ba based on symptoms for various disease. So it's, it's considered an expert in the field of a medical or medicine knowledge. Similarly, natural language processing involves understanding human language and it, it allows the expert system or it allows the artificial intelligence system to communicate to humans in the natural language. Also, it allows the humans to input natural language and communicate to the expert system or the artificial intelligence system. During the 1992 date, much advancement has happened in the field of artificial intelligence. Much of the advancement happened in the areas like perception, prop probability and decision making also theoretical reasoning and artificially intelligent reasoning or logical reasoning is the area where much of the research has happened also in planning embodied systems and machine learning much work has happened during this period expert systems has also grown during this period and but the one which can truly beat the Turing test is still a challenge for the scientists and the experts out there so what Turing test is all about is it is to access the ability of an artificially intelligent system in such a way that an evaluator evaluating a bunch of humans and a computer which is an expert system should not be able to differentiate between the computer and the expert system based on the answers which is taken in the written form from the questions of the evaluator and some of the latest app artificially intelligent technologies include so what the artificial intelligence developed from 1950 and it has reached 19 2017 some of the technologies which has been developed lit and which are trending lately include natural language generation producing text from a computer data and speech recognition and the voice command and the voice application like Siri in iPhone and Apple technologies are an example of natural language generation and processing and speech recognition. Also speech recognition include transcribe and transform human speech into format useful for computer application. These AI processes include automatic automation using scripts and other methods to automate human action to support efficient business processes. So this is one of the areas where much of the development is happening currently. Also, lately we have seen that artificially intelligent agents intelligence has made the production of visual agents, virtual agents, which are the agents which communicate or which can act as chatbots and the other 
customer communication platforms. So that's all. If you like this video, please do subscribe, like, and comment. Also, do watch our other videos in the series to learn more about the artificial intelligence. That's all. If you like this video, please do subscribe.